We are at the point that service provider has no choice but to seriously consider AI and ML in order to reduce their operational expenses and improve their cost structure. My name is Moshe Lavi, and I'm leading the product management team in SDE division of VMware by Broadcom. With my role, we are specifically focusing in order to develop automation and assurance tool in order to help service provider to reduce their cost structure. So first of all, let's talk about new types of 5G cell site. Today, the cell sites are deployed on top of a virtual stack, which obviously bring another level of abstraction to end complexity to the service provider network. Today, instead of deploying in a silo, service provider need to have a cloud stack that runs over a server that connect into a physical networking along with the DU and CU application. We already discussed four different layers that assemble one network function. With this amount of granularity, the user can expect many faults and many performance metrics that will jump up into his network. What we are doing in our BU is to work on a solution that helps the service provider to better analyze and get a grasp of the metrics and the faults that he sees. Now let's talk about AI and ML. Today, when you get hundreds of faults and metrics from your network, machine learning can already help you to learn the trends of the alarms and to understand in which case one alarm can point out to a specific root cause analysis that involve hundreds or thousands of alarms. That's what we do with our service assurance solution. We learn the trends, we see what kind of alarms can cause one reason, and we help the user to automatically open a ticket to his engineer along with a suggested root cause analysis and way to handle the problem in order to reduce the time. By only opening the ticket automatically with all the level of information that our assurance system can give, that by itself sa save a tremendous amount of resource to the service provider. On the automation side, we are often see the large expense of onboarding artifacts into the automation. The users and the vendors need to spend hundreds of hours in order to understand how to configure the artifacts. What we are doing with our automation solution is that we are involving AI and ML functionality in order to help the user to better drive their artifacts and to configure them dynamically into their environment. So if you take an artifact of a DU in one location and you need to adapt it to another location, some cases with different networking, with different chassis, with different hardware, we will help you do that along with reducing the cost of the planning. Going back to assurance, on the assurance side, another use case that we can involve with AI is to suggest the way to handle the failure. In many cases, we see problem inside of the service provider to allocate the right resource to the problem that he sees. Sometimes it can be a network issue, it can be a cloud issue, but it can also be application issue. These are three different stakeholders in, inside of the organization. Today, using AI and ML, we can specifically map problem into the right person that previously solved a similar phenomenon that they experience in the network. So what we are doing is that we are learning the, learning the trends, and by that we are helping the service provider to open a more meaningful tickets in order to reduce time by allocating the right resources. In a similar way, when it comes to automation, when we deploy the network function and the deployment is going over the cloud, we see some cases that the deployment or the upgrade of the uh, application, what we call day two, is often getting failed in the middle. What we, we are doing today with AI and ML is that we are helping the user to pre-analyze the environment and to avoid cases where the upgrade or the day two operation like scaling that the user can run will fail uh, once we are running our automation to achieve this day one or day two operation. In, in some cases, we see that pre-analyzing and pre-verification uh, of the environment will help the user to save time and avoid 
hustling of troubleshooting a failed deployment or a failed day to operation. So at this point of time, when we see service provider mainly trying to target their cost structure in order to generate new revenue, instead of shifting more resources to handle operational expenses, AI and ML are really important on the automation and assurance side in order to allow service provider to adapt new technologies which combine a higher level of granularity and a higher level of complexity, but at the same time keep the same cost structure and avoid investing in uh, additional operational resources. Mm -hmm.